Got to put the new bearings on this roller. This roller. We're working on this roller right up here. And then next will be this roller. Here's that smaller one. We're getting ready to get the smaller roller put in. Then we're going to take that large roller off the belt tensioner. And I'm going to break a new chain here. And we're gonna put new chains on this thing while we're at it. All right, so we got our inserts in, got the bearings in. This has a rod that goes between it because this goes on that tensioning arm. And then we've got our inserts in. We gotta be careful for them not to fall out. Um, and FYI, if this is loose on the bearing, uh, it's actually normal for that to be able to turn inside the bearing. Because then once you actually get the tension of the roller of the belt on this, then it'll actually turn the bearing. Uh, we bought new ones, and the new ones are the exact same as these old ones. So we're going to take the new ones back. <clears throat> and that has a rod. You're actually threading into the rod and going to sandwich these here. And that keeps it the right distance because you're actually going from that arm there to this arm over here. We've got it up and lined up with the holes in the side of the tailgate here. So we're going to put this roller in. Get it tightened up. Then we're gonna take our strap that's holding our tensioning arm up. And we're gonna we're gonna hold the tensioning arm up from this roller we're getting ready to put in. Take this strap off and we'll take this roller out and put the new bearings in it. And then reinstall it and we'll be done with our rollers. And we'll be ready for belts and chains and all that good stuff. All right, guys, got that roller in. Um, actually worked pretty good having to drive it in. I just took that short-handled sledge, drove it in, and then it wedges in tight enough that it'll actually hold. And I just took a bar, stuck it in the end, and lined it up. Now we're ready. We're going to uh, hold the tensioning arm up with the roller we just installed so we can take this roller off. All right, we got a couple straps on here. A little bit of safety factor and we're now ready to do this one all right we got one side off this one here is not squeezed like the other one it's probably not squeezed because we have the other one in there actually as soon as we loosened it up that side fell so dad's putting a strap around this thing so you can kind of hold it while i loosen this up or... all right new bangs installed on this big one now we're gonna put this rod back in put our two uh inserts in and we'll be ready to go back in the baler with it. All right, got that roller installed. Now we're gonna take our straps loose and let that down and we'll be ready to check anything else we need to do before we put the belts on. All right, before we end up putting any belts back on this thing, we're gonna take one of these sledge rollers off here because we've got a groove worn here. If you can see that. Not quite halfway through, but now's the time to fix it rather than wait until it wears all the way through and breaks off there. We got bigger problems on our hands. So we're gonna try to get it up there, take this roller here off, so we can fill that in and grind it smooth, and we'll be good to go. To get this roller off, we're gonna have to hook onto here and pull this up. We're gonna, I think, hook from here up to this lifting eye up here on either side, pull it up and line it up with these holes over here and we'll be able to take this roller off. We'll get to that. We can check some other stuff while we're messing with this as well. 
but everything else seems really good. Get the pressure off of it. Yeah. After I took the bolt out to let it down, then it didn't want to budge. I had to get up here and kick it down on my feet. Dad already got this up. He got the bolts off of this, but don't want to come out. So my guess is that with this being in here and this, this piece is wedged on this roller. So we'll see what we got to do to get it out of there. All right, so I just knocked it with this short handle sledge and it fell right out. Got the straps hanging it there. And here's our groove. It's actually worse down here on the bottom. So we're gonna clean that up and then I'm gonna fill that with some weld and we'll take the grinder and smooth it back out. We'll be good to go. All right, guys, mid welding. Here's what the gap looks like now. Put a couple more passes, then we'll grind her down. She'll won't even be able to tell she's been welded on. A little bit more down there at the bottom needs to be done. To where it kind of gets hard to get to with everything in here. So, all right. All right, got the roller back in. Got it built back up. It's hard to see on my camera, but built that up and welded it, ground it down. No groove now. Back to working on the baler. I'm gonna get it finished up today, hopefully. Uh, my phone hasn't been working, or my camera on my phone hasn't been working right. So I have missed a lot of footage on this, but uh, let me get you caught up. So uh, we replaced the bearings and both these tensioner rollers, this roller, this roller, uh, the big rubber roller up there was replaced and the bearings on it and the bearings on <clears throat> the roller just beneath it which are the ones out here got all new chains on it as you can see and dad had the belts on and attached and everything was finished and whenever he went to hook up the springs that he we couldn't get them pulled enough to get it hooked up so we took the belts he took the belts back off he's got the springs hooked back up and now we're going to actually we'll have to wrap the wrap the belts and everything but we're going to pull this tensioner up so we can get the belts attached and we'll let that off and should be good to go then and then i got a little bit more welding to do up here on the frame uh, I think we'll be ready to go. Kind of check everything over, button everything up, make sure the belts track right and all that good stuff. belts except for one on and laced together um, you'll see all the laces are in one spot that's just so we work on them take this ratchet off that's gonna put the tension on the belt they'll tighten up a little bit and then we're gonna start the tractor raise the gate put out the the pin there you go very good Oh, get a better hand on. So we couldn't get that last one on there because the strap was in the way. So what we'll do is we'll start this up, raise the tailgate up, and there's a pin that comes out of the side using this lever right here. And that'll block the tensioner up and we'll attach that last one. And then we'll rotate these belts. Uh, you don't really want all the you don't want all the seams in the same spot, so we'll kind of stagger them. Raise the tailgate. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hold up. That pin out there. See it come out? Now he'll let it that down. That arm will catch on that pin right there. Okay, just caught. Now you see the belts are loose. I want to have them stop before we get all the way shut. Hold up. Let's look here. Yeah, okay. 
So now we'll thread this last belt and we can rotate these belts to get them staggered and we'll be good to go. All right, we're getting ready to put the last lace in. See, we got plenty of slack here. The first thing you gotta do is you put these clips on the end. And then we'll put these belts up. <clears throat> One pointer to keep in mind is you see these corners are cut off. You gotta keep that with the uh, direction of travel so these corners don't hang on something. These corners aren't a big deal because you're it, the belt's going this way anyways. So then you thread that cable through there and crimp those down. Just like that with four hands, it's pretty easy. Right, Dad? Yep. <laughs> a lot easier than two hands. <laughs> all right, we're going to, I guess, rotate these around because all this, uh, laces aren't in the same spot and take the tension off and, I don't know, maybe start it up and see how they track. Oh yeah, much quieter. You're just gonna wind guard a little bit. Well, the chains are looking good. We see here, we kinda got our laces kinda spread out. They're not all in one spot. The belts are tracking pretty good. Ready. I'm going to take it up there, get that notch right there, and we'll weld that up. And we'll be good, right? Okay. Okay. Dad's going to back the baler up here, back my truck up. Hopefully I can just leave my welder sitting in the back of my truck and I can reach up where I need to get to. He gets it back back up here. I'll show you guys what I'm working on. Once we get done doing this, we got a few covers put on this baler and we're gonna be ready uh, to try it out. We don't have any hay on the ground right now, but I think dad's gonna be getting ready to cut some. So we're up at the top now. This right here is what I'm gonna be welding. What really caused this crack is early on, we had some issues and the, the dealer support was pretty poor. And what was happening was, we were actually overfilling the baler. This this piece right here comes through and it's got a piece sticking out on this side that's welded. Whenever it would come up, it would hang up, it would hang on this and it would pull that up and then pull it down and pull it up and pull it down. You can kind of see where it's been hanging on that. But so that's kind of what's been working it and made it break initially. But I want to get that welded up so we don't have some sort of issue with the, the whole tailgate. Because uh tailgate goes bad, this thing's scrap. Better to do it when it's a small thing like this than waiting for it to just be gone. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. My allergies are really getting to me. But, uh, so the other side, you know, it, it looks perfectly fine. We're gonna make sure we got the wire out of the way and all that good stuff. We're gonna clamp that up, get it smoothed out, lay some, lay some wire in there and call her a day. And this baler will be ready to go. I've been having issues with my camera on my phone and I actually missed out on uh, the, what the finished product looked like and actually doing the welding and all that good stuff. So, uh, but we did get that finished. We are basically complete with the round baler. We, we do have, uh, we've got to put the wheel, one of the wheels back on the pickup reel. Also put some covers and different things back on. Uh, but other than that, it's ready to go. So I think Dad's going to be cutting some hay to round bale here in the next little bit when he gets the weather opening. It is a relief having the round baler finished. That opens it up to where even if we're playing on square bale and if something happens, uh, the weather changes, we got to get the hay put up fast. We can round bale it. Uh, also, most of the cattle hay is round baled. So anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.